Hola guys, so I am well I'm not dressing up, I'm trying out outfits for today because I have a birthday dinner to attend today and after that we are also going to the club. I want to change twice. I'm going to wear the birthday dinner outfit from here obviously and I'll probably change in the car for the outfit. The outfit I have on right now is the outfit for the club. But I'm trying out this outfit right now and I have mixed feelings about it. You can already guess the clothes, the type of outfits that I'm wearing. Let me show you guys this is the dress it's just really hugging me it's giving a lot of side boob i don't have a nip slip so that's my predicament right now i i always try on my outfits before i go out i probably have an hour or two i will see you guys later mm -mm -mm. look at me now guys fine girl once in a while pimple guys there was a big ass rat outside right so we are done with the dinner we are here at the club i i'm going to keep my reservations about this club to myself so i don't know if i told you guys but i came with another clothes to change i wore i brought the wrong shoes tonight i brought the absolute wrong shoes tonight my shoes are not comfortable at all but thank god i came with his slippers i want to change in the car right now i'll show you guys when i change to my next outfit when you have an outfit and it doesn't really come out well the way i wanted my pictures to come out for this outfit that i have on right now it didn't quite come out that way but i've i have some pictures i can work with so i want to change to another outfit so i can take some pictures with it too and yeah i will I'll check in with you guys when I change to my next outfit. Bye. Hola, people it is gym day today i am oof, i've tried i'm honestly tired of i'm tired of i don't want to say i'm tired of my hair because it feels like i want to cut my hair but i'm just i'm tired i'm tired of taking care of my hair it's time to do something to it it's time to braid it it's time to do something i will look into doing that next week but it's gym day today i'm going to the gym um i'm not going to carry you guys along because i'm really not in the mood and oof, wow I'm a bit weak. Let's go and take some magic mind though. That should help. I'm going to be taking a shot of this magic mind to help with energy today because your girl your girl doesn't have a lot of energy today. And this does a pretty good job in giving me sustainable energy. 
I walk out for an hour a day. I think it's once I've walked out for like two hours. Remember, if you still want to get this, I will leave the link and the discount code in the description box. If you want to know more about this, I made a separate video for that. I'm going to link it maybe up here on the screen or something like that. I've been taking this, like I always say, anytime, like I said, anytime I want to go to the gym because it gives me energy and I don't like, I don't like to eat before I go to the gym because I just have acid reflux. Woo. Anyway, it's time to go to the gym. I will see you guys later. I'm not going to take you guys with me. Um, bye. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be the silence. Hey. Still not understanding this logic. Hey. Back in a better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I want to give you better. Baby, it's whatever Somebody gotta step up on that Somebody's on next go Be damn if I let them catch up It's easy to see that you're fed up Hey guys, what's up? I thought to talk with you guys a little bit Yeah, there's something I wanted to talk to you guys about Oh yeah, there's something that happened, right? That crossed my mind and I just wanted to talk about it Because I feel like we women we are too hard on ourselves and we are too hard on this body image that is being created or sometimes we create for ourselves right so just so you get a little bit of context of what i'm saying right i'm going to put these two pictures here side by side now look at these two pictures right the pictures were taken on the same night they were taking the same night but hours apart now the first picture is the earlier picture before i ate before all of that now the second picture is after i ate like i remember just having this should i say body image issue and i was just like oh why is my why do i feel so bloated why do i feel why is my stomach this big in this picture like i literally took this picture the same night and in this other outfit it looks a whole different a whole lot different and I was just there beating myself up about it, beating myself up about it. And my husband reminded me, he's like, you're a human being. Things that are inside there, you have your intestine, like from up, your diaphragm, you know, blocks this whole place. But you have your intestine, your large intestine, your small intestine, your stomach. Like, it's a lot inside there. I know everybody wants to have a flat tummy, but sometimes that's unrealistic. If you have a flat tummy, there's no shade at you, but this is for people like me. That are always too hard on on themselves because they don't look or they don't have a certain body type and i think what made me start accepting myself before i had that before i had this moment of oh why is my stomach like this these popular influencers i was like oh their body is this their thick but their body is this i later got to find out that they had work done they had work done but that doesn't mean you're not still going to gym i thought that they were gyming to get this done but it wasn't gym don't get me wrong, there are people that gym, there are people that actually gym to get this body, but these people do not gym to get this body. They were gymming, but it wasn't giving them the, the body they wanted and they had work done. And I was like, wow, okay. I can't believe I was giving myself this expectation and in reality, this is not what they actually did to get this. So it made me kind of like take a step back and not be so hard on myself. But this picture, I, I don't know, I guess I was in my feelings that day, but this picture just made me, it made me feel so body conscious. I'm like, oh my God, like my stomach is this, my stomach is that. And it's also crazy when people are also watching your womb and they get the wrong impression. Because if you clearly look at my stomach here, I look like I'm pregnant there, but I'm not. So yeah, it made me feel a certain way. And I just kept saying, I was like, okay, my stomach was, you know, flatter here. Why is my stomach bloated? And I get bloated a lot. I get bloated a lot to the point whereby... I even said watching, there was, if you notice in my videos, there was a period I was using a lot of spinach because, you know, spinach helps with all of that and stuff, but I'm a human being. Sometimes I don't feel like doing all these healthy things. Sometimes I feel like eating unhealthy things. And, and also there's a lot of things that happen in women's body. There are times when you get bloated. If you notice, if you pay attention to your body, few days before you see your period, you are bloated. 
few days before you see your ovulation, you are bloated. Apparently, I was within my ovulation period at the time this picture was taken. So it's like, there are some things you cannot just handle. I don't know. I just thought to come here and just talk about this. I don't know. It might help somebody out there. But that day, I was very, very self-conscious. I was very self-conscious about the way I looked and I was just really hard on myself and judging myself. At the point, I'm like, I'm not going to post that picture. But I don't know if I've posted the picture now by the time this video goes up, but I'm going to post the picture because I don't care. I don't care. It's like I'm a human being. The flat, flat tummy that we see on social media is a bit unrealistic for me because I know I'm not going to do the things that would get me to that stage because these people are on like a strict diet. I'm not about to do that. I want to eat. I want to eat and do stuff. But if that is your vibe, totally go for it. I support you. But that's not my vibe. So I'm just also making this to remind myself like this is not real. Like this is not realistic for me. Let us normalize women having pouch. It's not like just have big tummy from drinking beer, all of that. But having that flat stomach from up to down is sometimes unrealistic. Oh, something I also noticed that the girls are doing, they are wearing shapewears, which by the way, I'm going to invest in some good shapewears. I'm going to invest in some good shapewears, girl. In case you see the body body in, just know that your girl has some shapewear on, okay? Some girls don't actually have, they don't actually have work done, but they invested in some good shapewears. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I'm digressing. These, we criticize our family members and all of that. Oh, it's family, it's play, it's that, it's that. But it's not, it's not, sometimes it's not play. It's not cute. It's not nice. Because people step out, people get picked on for a certain body type, people get intimidated for a certain body type. And when, when you come home, your family member is doing the same thing and everybody laughs it off. But it's not easy, it's not nice. Like all honesty here, all transparency here, I used to get picked on a lot about my butt when I was younger. In public, I would have guys like, you know when you when guys are like trying to call on you and you reply them and you don't reply them, the first thing they will attack is my butt. Like they will come for me and come for my butt. Like, oh, with your small yarn and shoulders kind of and stuff like that. All through my university time, I had a certain coat that would tie around my waist just to hide my butt from the world. I said wearing baggy things, things that will not fit just because I just did not want anything that would show my butt. These things can make you, it, it can break someone. My stomach is not flat, flat. It's like, deal with it. My stomach is not flat, flat. When I came to this country and I was eating anyhow, I was eating, eating. Some of the people were making comments about it. Oh, oh, I know the good news. I will not say anything. They were referencing to my stomach because apparently my stomach was huge and I looked like, you know, there was something in there, but it was just food and everything. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is me coming here woman to woman as a human being to Sometimes we forget that we are humans and all these things all these body goals that we have most of them are Unrealistic most of them are not easy to get as we think I have been shamed for my teeth too like it's not news. It's not, it's not, it's not something that you will not see. The very first thing you see on my face is like my teeth. Like I have two huge front teeth. My only way to get out of that was I just stopped smiling. Recently I said smiling because I'm like, I don't care. I'm thankful for grown up Pamela because grown up Pamela these days doesn't give a shit, man. Like I don't care. I'm smiling. If you think my teeth is big, like, <sighs> I don't give a shit. Now I'm wearing skimpy things, things that will hug me. I'm just proud of the way I look. The only thing that still bothers me up till now is my stomach because you and I know if your stomach is a certain way, you will not really have fitting with your clothes. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I think the stomach bothers people a lot. My butt, I remember when people used to shame me for my butt a lot, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a BBL or something like that. And then I started looking at it. I'm looking at people looking like soldier ants. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to be this. I don't want to do this. I scratched that off my list. When I got shamed for my teeth a lot, I stopped smiling. Like I had to master the art of just keeping a straight face. I think that's why people, some people say I have a, an RBF. Sometimes I do get conscious about my teeth. Like when I'm smiling, unconsciously, I'm trying not to open my mouth and then I realize that my whole face is just hurting and stuff and I'm like what the my face hurting I'm like oh I'm trying not to smell <laughs> I'm trying not to let my teeth out this is one of the things I told my husband too and I told my husband like 
I would like to get my teeth filed. Like before we got married, I, when I brought this up to him and he was like, he never really noticed it or he did not even think that it's something that people will make fun of. Um, so I brought it up to him. I was like, something I always told myself because of like the way I said I was going to get the BBL. I was like, oh, I'm going to get, if it's possible, I'm going to get my teeth filed so that it's just going to, it's going to line up with the rest and it's going to look proportional in quotes, something like that. So that day when I was having my breakdown or meltdown, he was like, yeah, if I want to still do the teeth filing, he's going to support me on with that decision. And I'm just like, that thought process was like younger Pamela. Like it's been a long time. I've had the, pro the thought of like filing my teeth, the thought of filing my teeth come to my head. And then having that meltdown and that situation, that topic coming up again, I was just like, is this what I really want for myself? Like, do I really want to file my teeth? Okay, my husband is in support because he feels like he's going to help me feel better about smiling and myself. I don't want my, like my facial shape to change. It distinguishes my smile. It makes my face, you know, different when I smile. I feel like my teeth plays a huge role in the way I smile and my facial structure where I smile. And I was just there wondering like, if that, if I go through with that procedure, will I like my face? So it's just a lot of emotions and I don't know if I don't even know what I'm talking about this, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go through with it. But if I eventually decide to go through with it, I'm going to share the process. As after he talked about it, it has been ringing in my head. I don't know if I want to go through with it because, well, I've never said this in this channel, but I have TMJ on both jaws. That's crazy. I don't even know if even touching my teeth, if it's even going to help with this situation so yeah I've, like i've entered one conversation to another conversation to another conversation let's i don't know man tell me how you guys feel in the comments tell me what you've been struggling with body wise tell me how you've navigated it and yeah this is something i just wanted to share and talk about here on my channel because like i always say everything is not entertainment i'm going out i'm going out we share information like this YouTube channel, like I learn new things from you guys. You guys learn new things from me. I learn new things from you guys more than you learn from me. So this is something I really wanted to share and I hope it helps somebody out there. Ooh, okay. Wow. I want to make wings. We don't eat chicken in this house. My husband doesn't like chicken. Since I came to America, I don't remember the last time I had chicken. Now I'm thinking that chicken is trash. So I marinated the chicken overnight. I'm going to take it out of the refrigerator right now. My husband is actually not around. He traveled for work and so I'm not the best with oven since. I hope I don't burn down the house. I have enough memory. I bought a new SD card, 256 gig. It might not be a lot, but it's a lot because the last one I was using was 64 gig. You guys will be able to see this one. The chicken wrap I was making yesterday, my SD card got full, so you guys could not see it, and I was too hungry to even start filming anything with my phone. Look at this goodness! I'm going to put the, the ingredient I use in marinating this chicken up here on the screen so that you guys will see. Hopefully I don't burn this house down. <laughs> Guys, so my camera battery died. I just had to um charge it up a bit. But after I flipped it to the other side, I let it um 
bake for 20 more minutes and my house smells so good right now it smells so good and it looks so good i'm so tempted to take one let me show you guys i'm so te tempted to take one before i actually like put it in in the sauce let me call it sauce in the sauce that i made so this one this i didn't want to cluster them i wanted to give it space so this is what this one looks like trust me as a nigerian girl main like pepper scotch bonnet has to be in it i'm going to take one and try it out to see so this is it it's already juicy Ooh, it's hot mmm spice is definitely there mmm so good why you think i hate it when you talk that drink shit same reason that you never left me hanging same reason that i tried to make you famous same reason that i tried to show you just who i was outside of the blood outside of things that That's a good flavor. I think I should flip it over so that the other side will get, you know, broiled. And we are done. I flipped it to the other side and they look so pretty. I got some wings for my friend. I got something for you. Oh, what is it? I made wings. Oh my gosh, I was going to ask you if you have some food in the house. <laughs> because I want to come back and eat. I'm going to eat here. Okay. I'm going to eat back here. Okay. Thank you. Yes! <laughs>